Okay, this is a uh, what's called the GMC 24-inch uh, uh, boys. It's a bicycle kind of slash road bike type thing. Um, this one's black. Weighs uh, a lot. <laughs> weighs over a little over 20 pounds. Um, but anyway, this is an entry level 21 speed, 24 inch wheel bay, wheels uh, bicycle. So we're going to show you how to put it together. Okay, so it's totally unboxed now. It probably took me about 15 minutes. Um, you'll find a bunch of little pl plastic pieces everywhere. Um, one, one little tip is make sure you have the fork block in there or you put something down there so you don't scratch the bottom of the forks. I typically leave the, the wrapping on the handlebar tape until I'm completely done in case I get it greasy. The way I assemble these bikes, pretty simple. So I typically put the seat in first. Um, this one has a little Allen wrench uh, clamp on it. I'll put the, uh, the pedals on. Make sure you pay attention to the pedals. See, there's an R on that one. So that's the right side of the bike and make sure you don't cross thread them. Um, that is really, really important. And then um, after that, I'll put the front wheel in and I'll show you how to do that. Put the handlebars in, and we'll adjust the brakes and the derailleurs as needed. All right, so the this particular bike, the seat post clamp is a uh, four millimeter Allen wrench. Um, the seat should slide in very uh, smoothly. And so if you have to, and I did this on purpose, if you have to ram this in, it's too tight. So make sure you, uh, whoops, sorry. Take your clamp, loosen this up, but don't let it disconnect. And then we can do this. Sorry about that. It'll slide right in, see? And then you'll just adjust it as needed. All right, so next are the pedals. Uh, you'll notice here it says right and even shows you which way to turn it. So again, make sure right here, I know you might not be able to see, but it says R. And so when you put the pedal in here, you're gonna, you're gonna they all go cross thread or backwards threading. So if you, if you turn it the opposite of the way. All right, so pedals are really important. So what you'll notice about pedals is a lot of them, they're all marked typically on the crank. So this says R. Um, I already put this one in there because I want to show you something in a second. This one says L and it's always right here at the end of the actual axle itself. So make sure you put it on the correct side. They all, typically all these are, are reverse thread. So I started this one and as you can see, oops, sorry, this one, you're actually turning it to the right and that's what will tighten it. Um, this one even has a little diagram on it. So do that for each side. And then to tighten them down, just get a wrench and you'll hear, feel it kind of get tight. Once you get close and all the threads are done, and you just want to make sure that it's good and tight. All right, so next are the handlebars. Um, make sure you have access to this top Allen wrench. Uh, not, this is a six millimeter on this one, most of them are. And what this does is it loosens up this piece right here. So this is what holds the handlebars in once it goes into here. So make sure, again, all the plastic is gone. Make sure the forks are facing forward. Make sure the brakes are the way they are. Make sure that the cable lines aren't twisted. You'll see what I mean when you there in person. This has to be fairly loose, and if it's fairly loose, it will simply slide in. And you'll see a bunch of rivets right here. This needs to be below here. So if it's any higher, it's not safe. So I'm gonna put it just below that. Then you're gonna take your six millimeter Allen wrench, stick it in the top here. But one best practice is kind of tighten it a little bit. Because what's going to end up happening is once you put your front wheel in, you're going to be able to align your fork a lot better. But get it, you know, I just eyeball it kind of up and down so you can get it somewhat straight. And then you're going to want to tighten it because you're going to use this as leverage when you put the front wheel on. All right, we're almost done. Next is the front wheel. Make sure you loosen these up, uh, these uh, nuts as much as you can. These are little keepers. Um, these go on the outside. And then this little tab right here, I'm going to show you what that looks like is uh, in case these come loose the front wheel potentially will stay on. So again, these go on the outside, forks go on the inside, and I'll show you what those little keepers look like. Okay, I hope you can see this, but you can see how that is, it's straight up and down, and it's in the, the tab is in the, the hole right above where the uh, axle comes in, and that's what is called the, the little wheel keeper there. Um, then obviously you're gonna 
tighten this down on both sides and make sure it's straight. All right, we're pretty much put together now. Uh, wheels are on, uh, pedals are on, seats in place, water bottle cage is on. That's just two little Allen wrenches. That's a piece of cake. The last step here is to dusting the brakes, and it's probably the hardest thing to do. Um, if you look at the brakes front on here, this bolt is what holds the cable itself. Make sure this cable housing is securely in there. Also make sure it's connected properly internally in here. Um, and you'll you'll see what I mean when you're you're uh, when you're uh, when it's in person. Um, you'll know if it doesn't work properly if, if you pull on this. If you pull on this and this doesn't move, then um, then the, uh, the end that goes inside of here is not properly input. Normally from the factory it's not a big deal. Typically though, however, these cables are very, very loose intentionally because the handlebars come shift wrapped up. So you, what you need to do, the point is, is loosen this bolt, squeeze the brakes so they're touching the rim, tighten the cable, then adjust from there. It'll be too tight, but you can slowly adjust it, get it, get it right on the lever, and it's uh, good to go. All right, there you have it. A um, couple little tips here. Um, make sure you um, test the derailleurs. Um, typically, they're pretty spot on. Um, this particular bike has three uh, uh, rings in the front, and uh, I guess it's seven in the back, so just run through those. Again, make sure you have the, uh, the front wheel on correctly with those safety tabs. Make sure you tighten the, the pedals down. Make sure this bolt is very tight, and then of course, you're lined up accordingly. Um, test your brakes. Um, I recommend, especially if this is a young child's first bike, that you leave the front brake very, very loose or they will flip over. Um, however, on the back, make sure the back, that's the right side, is pretty tight. Um, make sure your seat is straight and make sure it is tight as well. It's a four millimeter Allen on this one. And you're good to go. Put some air in the tires and you're ready to ride. The second part of the brake adjustment is you want to make sure the pads are properly placed. This typically is not correct from the factory. So you loosen this bolt and then you're going to center it right along obviously the metal part of the rim. Make sure you do both sides.